everyone, welcome to another Random Talk Sunday, and today I thought it would be interesting to briefly address Easter, because it's Easter today, and uh, talk about the sort of history behind Easter and the sort of weird, bizarre things that are kind of associated with Easter, because Easter is a fairly interesting holiday, to say the least, so without further ado, let me address some of the things that I think are kind of interesting and important to know that I found out about about Easter. So again, primarily Easter is associated with Jesus being resurrected um, from the cross uh, when he died within the Christian tradition. Um, but uh, again, like a lot of Christian holidays, there has been some pagan influence. Um, for example, the bunnies um, and uh, the eggs and candy and baskets. Those all come from fairly more pagan traditions. Um, the bunny is actually sort of a representation of fertility um, and uh, sort of life. Um, and again, which sort of represents the sort of essence of spring, like that the flowers are suddenly blooming, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot that is sort of being brought to life during, around springtime. So oftentimes Easter is sort of associated with that. And again, I think a lot like Christmas, um, the Easter Christian tradition was sort of compromised together, so you get this one religious angle, which is the Christian holiday and celebration of Jesus being resurrected, and then you also get the other side, which involves bunnies, baskets, and finding eggs. Um, so another interesting thing about Easter is in the way in which it's celebrated, because again, it's not celebrated the same day every year. Um, basically, Easter is celebrated on the first Sunday following the full moon after the vernal equinox on March 21st. So basically, that means Easter can occur within the time frame of March 22nd and April 25th. So that's why we have all of these different days in which Easter is celebrated. Um, and that's primarily for uh, Western uh, for Western culture. For Orthodox Christianity, they use the Julian calendar to determine when Easter sort of will be. Um, and also it's important to note that Lent is around this time of year, which is basically the 40 days leading up to Easter, which um, it's sort of celebrated as a way of reflection and penance. And uh, basically the 40 days sort of commemorates when Jesus spent 40 days in the wilderness before sort of starting his ministry up, so to speak. Um, and uh, that's really how sort of Easter is structured um, as far as religion is concerned. Um, and also another thing that is interesting about Easter is that um, different countries within and around the world use different animals to sort of be the ones to bring the treats to the kids on Easter. Um, uh, in Switzerland, apparently, it's supposed to be a bird, although I think from what my mother knows, I think they do the same thing, bunnies, but... Um, it might be within certain areas within Switzerland that do have a bird come instead. Um, some other countries, they'll either have like a stork or, or they'll have some other kind of animal to go and sort of deliver the eggs um, for the kids uh, as part of that uh, tradition. And uh, the interesting thing too is, is that I didn't really know this, but apparently... Next to Halloween, Easter is the second most, um, it, it's the second most popular time for candy. So in other words, uh, the most candy that is sold is on Halloween, but the second uh, holiday that gets the most candy sold is Easter. And I think this could be due to a variety of reasons. I think in one part, 
you know, because you have so many bags of candy, you know, that you kind of give out to the kids and then the kids go and look for the candy. So it only makes sense that there would be a large amount um, that people would buy. Um, and I think it only makes sense uh, since we give each other bunnies and whatnot for Easter. So uh, I think it's interesting because, again, it's similar to a lot of the other Christian holidays where we have some sort of pagan tradition being brought into it. Um, but I think it's hard to say with certainty where these sort of elements came from. We only know that they sort of had a sort of representation within the pagan culture, like bunnies and eggs, and all of that was part of the more pagan tradition. And so that sort of carried over within Christianity as, um, as Jesus was um, being sort of preached. Um, so it only makes sense that we would have these things kind of mixed in together um, that don't seem like that they relate to one another. <laughs> Similar with Christmas, you know, with, with trees and all that. Um, and uh, the interesting thing, too, about the eggs is, is, is that um, the eggs in particular, I think, became fairly popular because um, at one point, um, for Lent, you're supposed to kind of fast, and in doing so, you don't eat, I guess, certain foods. And um, eggs were one of the foods that was sort of um, discouraged from being eaten around Lent time. But once Easter came along, you could eat as many eggs as you wanted. So I think that's also another reason, too, why eggs in particular became fairly popular. And it's probably one of the oldest traditions to have the eggs colored and, you know, do fun little things with the eggs. So, again, that's also another thing that I think a lot of people drew uh, influence from. Some people say that Easter did sort of culminate from the pagan ho a pagan holiday specifically, but uh, we're not, um, there's no 100% certainty that that is the case. Um, Unlike with Christmas, where we feel like there is a certain amount of evidence to indicate that there was this pagan holiday that um, did have some influence onto Christmas, with Easter it's a little bit more um, vaguer because there's not a whole lot of evidence to support it. Um, although there is some things that you could say are kind of coincidental, you know, the fact that they use bunnies and, you know, they... You know, they, 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 they incorporate a lot of things that we, we see in Easter. Um, but again, there's not with 100, we can't say with 100% certainty, or at least as much certainty as we could, I think, with the Christian uh, holiday um, as to where exactly the pagan influence draws from. Um, but they do draw from some, con from some concepts like the bunnies, the eggs, um, the baskets, and the candy. So... That's all part of that, um, that, uh, that, uh, before Christ sort of period. Um, but yeah, I think that's really ultimately all I can say. And again, the pagan holiday that supposedly is associated with Easter sort of celebrated this, the fertility, the, you know, giving life and things like that. So again, a lot of it nature oriented, um, and, uh, Again, oriented with uh, with the uh, pa with pagan gods um, as opposed to Jesus. Uh, so yeah, you sort of see the differences, but uh, as to how things got incorporated, it's kind of uh, you can draw some comparisons there, uh, especially um, considering the fact that when Christianity was adopted, a lot of it had involved really trying to convert those who were from pagan tradition into the Christian tradition, so it only makes sense that they would draw in some pagan influence and have that sort of be kind of kept in there over the years. But uh, again, I think that's really ultimately all I can say about Easter. It is a very interesting holiday. Um, there's a lot of things that we associate with it, whether it be sort of religious or not really all that religious, um, but but it's interesting to say the least, and I like the sort of celebration of spring and revival and rebirth, and 
I guess you could say the Jesus story sort of culminates those ideas as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's really all I can say though when it comes to Easter. It's a fairly straightforward but yet interesting uh, part of history and and it's it's interesting that bunnies are sort of <laughs> a part of that history and uh, other things like eggs. But uh, I think that's really ultimately all I can say. But if there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a pleasant day, week, month, and year. And I hope to see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.